ace is Ethan Van Bell, and he fires a fastball in there. To strike one. Cameron Thorning, who catches, and Jacob Fergus, the shortstop, both ineligible today for Michigan, who are their other better pitchers. And a leadoff walk. 3 2. That's Rick Bess. Fair ball past the third baseman, Serma. And J.J. Vogel, who had been cold since that homer, picks up a key hit. And they got two men on and nobody out. I love it. The swing before this, it is by him. Then he gets two strikes. Short, shortens up just a little bit. Chokes up on the bat. Gets to the same pitch. He swung and missed on inside. Pulls it down the line. He's got himself a knock. They've been very good. Yes, and Kyle with runners in scoring position as he looks apart. 2-2. Two, two. Center field playable for Jacob Furcus. Harden thinking about tagging, but he goes nowhere. And that's the first out of the game. Well played by the kid that was on relief yesterday in center, Jacob Furcus. 3-2 on the way to Noah Davidson. Oh, that's high. And now the bases are loaded. I know that he's walked two in this inning, gave up a single, but there is conviction behind everything that's coming to home play. This ball popped up on the infield, and that's an infield fly rule. So the batter was out, and that's a very big out. He's gotten two pop-outs, and now base is loaded two down. Got him, and that sends the Michigan sideline off their seats. They explode. Ohio had a big chance. We'll circle that top half of the first. They had bases loaded, and just one out, and could not get a run across. Their hitters, their toes right on that line. On the ground, Cooper Clay's been great. He gets it, throws across, and that's a nice play. Cooper Clay has been terrific at shortstop for Ohio. Two two off speed, slow roller. He's gonna have to charge and fire quick. No chance, and he throws it away. And that's going to allow Eulin to go to third base. So that's the only risk in playing deep at second base with somebody like Thornton. His speed, and once it got past Rutherford, you had no chance. Like it gets in on the hands, even though it's a breaking ball. Thornton waits late, and because it's a miss hit, he's allowed to use his speed, get down the line. This is one you just got to hold on to as much as you want to make that play. This is Jackson Surma. Oh. He squares the bunt. He is running. They will throw down. He's safe. Not often you see the catcher throw down because usually the runner from third will break. Eulen didn't. Straight steal. And Surma's in a good spot now with runners at second and third. And look how close Gavin Eulen is at third base. The 1-1 one, one to Jackson Surma. And that's in the left field. Got to get down. Burning hits third. He's coming in. Down to second to go Serva, and they're up 2-0 Michigan thanks to the RBIs from Jackson Serma. So a fake bunt early in his at bat and keeps that bat head out there just long enough to allow his base runner to get out to second base. Then he's got another guy to drive in. It looked like a breaking ball. It hangs just a little bit up in the zone. Jackson Serma is hitting the middle of this Michigan lineup throughout all of it. That ball into the gap scores two, and Michigan strikes first here in the first inning. Yeah, RBIs five and six in this World Series for Jackson Surma. And ahead 0-2. Can he put him away? No, he sends it to the backstop to third base. Easily goes Surma. Back. On the ground, Clay, he will go to first. Get the out there. Smart play. Did look at Surma. He was coming in on contact, and it's now three to nothing, Michigan. Everybody else, they're averaging nine. There you go. He gets four and swinging. Come on down. We're done there, Chance. That's the third out. But three runs come across. Michigan off to a great start. We are through one. Championship is a Little League World Series. Second inning, Little League World Series final. This one slapped down the line and left, and it's going to get down and be fair. There's your start. Ohio needed Chase Moak. He's going to go to third. Oh, good throw. Save. Did the tag get on that leg? Aggressive for Chase Moak. <laughs> get good. 
head coach, their base coach, said, hey, I was holding you up. Chase gets a little fired up when he sees this one land, Jess. Oh, yeah, he gets right into that corner exactly where you want it. Once he saw it kick away, kind of get bobbled, he said, I'm taking this one on my own, and it's a hard one when it's in left field, coming down to third base. And remember, Chase Smoke, he doesn't start every game. You can see the tag misses him initially. The throw actually beats him. The tag not laid down on his leg. No, nope. good call. There you go. Ohio bounces back after you win a three. Cooper Clay, how about it? Cooper Clay was 0 for 13 at the Little League World Series and gets his first hit and a huge RBI. Way to go, Cooper. He's been all defense for this Ohio team. We've seen his plays at shortstop, his struggle at the plate, but he's had smiles the entire time. <laughs> how about coming up in the biggest at bat for him to get Ohio on the board? Thank you. Thanks, Luz. Strike three. Oh, he paints on the corner. Good job, Ethan Van Bell. Lead off triple, single, and an RBI followed by three consecutive outs. Qualified. On the ground, let's see Clay goes down, gets up. Nice play. He got him by half a step. Cooper Clay made sure that one didn't get by him. Ethan Van Bell has got his hands to his ears he's saying he's safe but i'm not sure he's getting he's getting his coaching staff to buy it uh, i think he i think he got him just by a half step right here okay so earlier we talked about cooper play getting around the baseball this time he knows he has to go back he knows he has to go backhand slides into it just gets enough to get van bell coming down the first baseline that was well done yep look out ripped you got time good play oh he just dropped it Maddox Jones did a great job knocking it down, fired a strike, and Caleb Harden just couldn't hang on to it. Schufelt, he's the right fielder, two for seven. This could be a double play. The flip to second, to first. Yes, Maggard and Clay work it. And they need that. They avoid the top of the order. 6 4 3 double play, only six pitches in the inning. There's Chance Rutherford starting to settle in. Rutherford, oh, just over the head of Gavin Ewell, who died. Say this about Ohio, guys. They're hitting the ball. They're getting guys hey, on. on right? Third straight nope. inning, they've had the leadoff runner aboard. It's aggressive early, too. That's been Michigan's success on the flip side. And Ohio doing it the last few games. Remember, they only had one run. For the first two, they have 21 the last four. And it swings like this from their big hitters. Gavin Saylor, that's ripped, that's over the head of Ewan. And Redford will head to third, and he will be standing there. Boy, first pitch swinging, and first pitch hitting. That is their fourth first pitch hit today. They're jumping on Ethan Van Bell. Gavin Saylor gets his first at bat right now. He doesn't waste any time. So two pitches in the inning, both fastballs, both elevated. See if you see a first pitch that's something other than a fastball here. A good look at that. Move to the baseball. Both have been right over the head of Gavin Olin. Coming from the same region, a little familiarity. That bounce doesn't get away far enough from Thorning, but it does load the bases again. We've seen this situation. This is the second inning in which they've had the bases loaded. Strike three call. Wasn't a swing. He called it. And Ethan Van Bell back to his tricks of striking guys out with runners on. So get ahead 0-2, then move all the way off the play for the 0-2 fastball. This time comes and sits just over the outside block. So if this is centered over his body, that's a really good spot. Didn't have to move it much. Good athlete, blocks everything. He called him straight three. Back-to-back -back punch outs, five in the game for Ethan Van Bell. In, in the biggest, most critical times he's come through. The same thing last inning. That base runner's on. He goes strike out, strike out to end it. Now loads it with nobody out. Single, single, walk. Then strike out looking, strike out looking. Very shallow. Right by him. And the runner thought that was the third strike at third base. Rutherford came off the bag and went to the bench. They threw to third and tagged him out. Oh, boy. Heads up play by Cameron Thorning. Watch the runner at third. 
He thinks that's the third out. I like that cash. Swing and a miss. This new pitcher, Caleb Harden, on in the game. And he gets Lucas Farner. So no worries about foul balls. And this one on the ground. Dive stop. And that's just going to sit right there. Maddox Jones knocked it down. That likely was going to be a hit anyway. Thorning, they saw him at the Great Lakes Regional. They certainly are aware of what he's done here. And more homers and RBIs than anybody in the tournament. Got one to hit. Pulls it down the line and right. Rutherford gets it before the track and just off the end of the bat. Cam Thorning allowed out deep to right. That ball's lifted to left. Coming in is Moak. Now he goes back and he makes the nice catch. And that'll be out number three. And this area is all about beyond baseball. 3-2. Oh, he called strike three. Play was just about set to walk to first. Instead, he walks back to the dugout. Where our press box is. Perfect pitch. Breaking pitch. Got him on the inside corner. And he's picking up strikeouts. That's six and seven here to start the fourth. And of those seven, six have been looking. Two looking in the second, two looking in the third. Now the first two here in the fourth inning, both looking this time on a breaking ball. And that was a really good looking for his fifth consecutive strikeout. There it is. Ethan Van Bell. His final pitch at the Little League World Series. Strikeout number eight and five in a row to walk off the mound. That still held true today. Man, that gives just off the end of his bat, drops it in the left field, and now you got speed on the bases. Chauncey Atkins, three for seven. Good Little League World Series for Chauncey, who started a few games and has come off the bench in a few others. He'll have the only hit against Hawaii. He's kind of played that role player coming off the bench, and I love it with two strikes again. Michigan, two strike hitting. Van Bell pounds that, and that's past the shortstop play on a pitch that was up. And now Michigan in business here with just one out, two on on the bottom of the fourth. This is a team that's 90% contact, okay? So they know, even with two strikes, look at where this pitch is. They just know how to make contact. A lot of times it comes in the form fouling off, extending it back. Atkins on at second. Nice. Did he get it? He did. Like that? Is that the one you wanted to see again? Yes. Been a good hitter off the bench, too. Two for five. Pops this one up. Catcher's got it. Noah Davidson. Two hitter, J.J. Vogel. Two, three, four. Big pitch. He did not go, and the leadoff man is aboard. It feels like Ohio has had the leadoff man on every inning. Too shabby for every inning but one. Deep breath. Here we come. Three, two. Got him swinging. And first base occupied, so Rutherford is out. Boy, another clutch strikeout by an Ohio pitcher in a 3-2 count with a runner on. That is how most of us grew up playing baseball. Yeah. Let me take a look at this. Now, not appear to make any contact with it. Did hit the glove and that may have triggered the sound with the last eight have struck out. That's not going to be a strikeout. Sailor sends it right back up the middle. And Ohio's knocking on the door again. For you. Right by you Gavin Ewell and a Where's single for Saylor. Gavin Saylor's coming to the play twice. He's got two hits. Such a beautiful look from behind the play. Take you in the batter's box to see the look. Gavin Ewell and the pitch coming in. Saylor. One for six. Runners in scoring position, Ohio. Mm, that was set up almost like he wanted a pitch out. What we had going there, because I don't think there's any way you're gonna pitch out in that situation, but he sticks straight up. Looked like he was getting ready to throw. I can definitely understand the question there, because on a on a pitch out, a lot of times your catcher is not only gonna step out, but it's gonna step forward. And sometimes if you get a swing like that, especially if the swing is a little bit late, you do have a chance to make contact with the glove. At that time, clearly that wasn't the case. That's the best look right there. Good gap between the bat and glove. And one ball, two strikes. And this one on the ground could be two. Van Bell gets it, throws in time. Big double play as Farner hits Van Bell. Throws to the forest and a 6 4 3 erasing. No doubt on this one. One two up the middle and past 
the dive of Cooper Clay. It didn't feel like you were going to see Lucas Farner give you an 0 for 3 in a championship game. He's aboard with nobody out at the bottom of the fifth. Look out the zone that he likes. Anything middle away, his eyes get big. This one, he goes out, reaches for it, uses his whole body. Newland walked and scored, and that is a fair ball in the left field. Farner will put the brakes on, so will Eulin, and that's smart with Cam Thorning coming up. First and second, nobody out. Have yourself a day, bud. Grandpa shows up, he walks, scored in the first, single to second and back. Now singles again right here. Gavin is going to try to finish this one off on the mound, trying to give himself a few more runs right now. But our guy, you and side hustle, lawnmower guy. Everybody look over here. Popped up sky high on the infield. Fire. And yep, the infield fly was called late. Foul ball caught. And boy, a huge out. Keeps them very much in this game. That is not an easy pitch to throw. That's high. That gets by the catcher. Noah Davidson couldn't catch it. And now the double play possibility on a force is Gavin. off. That's a Gavin. big, Gavin. big pass ball. The 1-1. One, one. That one is going to get through. Going to bring in Farner. Here comes Eulen. Here's the throw. He's in. And that pass ball costs him. Sherma knocks in 2-5-1 Michigan. Little things lead to big things in baseball, and certainly at the Little League World Series, it has today. Look at this location up in the zone. This is all Jackson Surma has done the entire tournament. He's hitting after the one that everyone's worried about in Cam Thorning. They get to Surma every time, and he's just straight up hit. Stay there, Surma, 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 stay here. Stay here. Found it. 3 2. Popped up. It's Sabrizi here. Second baseman Maggard says he has it and he does. They're out number two. <laughs> Got jammed and coming in to make the play was Gage Maggard. But two very big runs added on in the bottom of the fifth. Bauman to second. They got time. Ethan Van Bell, and there's one down. Good job to just stop it over there at second, find it, and throw him out. 3 2. Ouch. Got both right in the back, and he will head down to first base in a little bit of pain. Where did I get to? Point to me. You may rub it. <laughs> That's outside, and Donjus is walked for now. Two aboard after a hit batter and a walk. That's the Ohio story today. Oh, no! He did not go. We'll check first. Oh, the first base umpire says he did. And Drew Brown is punched out. Oh, I don't think he did there. In fact, I'm certain that he didn't right there. Break the ball off the play. Crew Brown did a good job of holding up right there. Last chance, Caleb Harden. He's the leadoff hitter. Oh, he hit him. Oh, my gosh. Ewan took a second, breathed through it, and he plunks Caleb Harden. And that will bring the tying run to the plate. And the only guy that's hit a home run for Ohio, that's J.J. Vogel. Here's the first pitch. Outside. Good situation for Ohio. That's in the dirt. That is ball four, and that is a run coming in. Five to two. Chance Rutherford. The go-ahead run. This ball driven to center. It's playable. Ferkus is there. And the Taylor North Little Leaguers are World Series champions.
Here's a picture they'll have the rest of their lives. 